listen to this crowd? Man, talk about an insatiable appetite for action. You said it, Michael. This is a perfect way to get things going. Checking out Triple H. What can you tell us right now? When I think about the history that Triple H has written in this career, it's amazing. I think back to his incredible entrance at WrestleMania 22 when he faced John Cena in Chicago. That procession to the ring set the tone for the entire match. I mean, it was awesome. You know, Triple H doesn't just hurt you. He'll taunt you, humiliate you, and if that doesn't work, he's not too bad with a sledgehammer. In here. Oh! King, I know you spoke about WrestleMania 22, but let's think back to when the cerebral assassin truly took his first steps towards sports entertainment royalty when he defeated mankind in the finals of the 1997 King of the Ring tournament. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm gonna go with something historic that happened in 1997 as well. That summer, Triple H and the Heartbreak Kid formed the renegade group of D-Generation X. What about that, Cole? Of course. I mean, WWE wouldn't even have had an attitude error without them. And if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Santino Morella, no problem getting out of that one. No, oh, wait, nice reversal. Not today, too fast. Are you kidding me, look? Let's see what Santino does with this. It all began in 2007 when Santino emerged from the crowd of Raw's first ever broadcast from Italy. Santino answered Mr. McMahon's challenge and somehow defeated going for the cover. Oh, what a save. Yeah, that's what I call killing two birds with one stone. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. The shoulder! They're still alive. Yeah, Cole, you remember that song back in the day? Staying alive? Well, that was it in WWE times. You know when you take direct hits like that, it becomes hard. You wasted too much time on that one. Jerry, earlier you talked about Santino's entry into WWE and two things we must discuss are the appearance of his supposed twin sister, Santino, <laughs> who won the Miss WrestleMania 25 Divas Battle Royal <gasps> and one of the most destructive strikes this business has ever seen, the Cobra. Oh, go. We get a front row seat every week to see Santino and the Cobra in action. While Santino's methods are a bit unusual, the Milan Miracle has experienced significant success here in WWE. That's it. He's done. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Quick pin attempt here. One, two. That elbow will leave you dazed. Hey, the Wow, there's the save. The match continues. A quick punch to the gut. Quick thinking to avoid that. Oh, God, that was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. I've seen hundreds of Farouk matches, and I can honestly say that I don't think I've ever seen anybody kick out of his Dominator finish. Oh, man, you take a shot like that, and you feel it for weeks. Competing at full health here, definitely in a good position. Not a lot of spring left in this step right now. Oh, out of nowhere! Get some air here! I need some too after sitting next to you. We've seen Farouk's Dominator lay waste to the likes of the Hardy Boys, Edge and Christian, and so many other top 
WWE superstars. You can't help but wonder if it will lead to the end of this match here tonight. Well, Cole, my money is on yes. Nobody delivers the Dominator quite like Farouk. We've seen others try to replicate it, but there's really no duplicating the impact of Farouk's. Santino's got him! There's definitely facial damage. I just wonder if anything's broken. Yeah, he's gonna have a Roman nose. Gonna roam all over his face. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Perfectly executed. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. This Farouk is something else. He may be short on words, but he's extremely long on destruction inside that ring. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. And a lethal chop rains down. You're right, that chop was brutal. Man, what a brutal attack. I'm telling you, if you didn't suffer from internal injuries before, you are now. I can guarantee it. That packed a punch. King, you're so smart. You mentioned the destruction Farouk creates inside that ring, which is undeniable. But he was also known for wreaking havoc on the football field. You said it, Michael. What Ron has done on the football field is Welcome viewers, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that follow button. In the Hall of Fame. Farouk getting completely dominated here, people. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. The skills of Santino are definitely diverse and somewhat a mystery. I mean, he has great resilience, an incredible connection with the audience, lethal striking ability, and uncanny strength for reversing an opponent's attack. Oh, what a pedigree! That's it! Here comes Farouk! Farouk with the opportunity, and he's got that bear hug locked in! just got laid out. Wow! Unbelievable impact there. One of these guys is going to walk away with a win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. Be careful not to take on too much more damage here. Making it look easy. Oh, what a shot. That did some serious damage. You can't take too many of those and expect to be in the match much longer. And here is the game. Talk about getting momentum behind you. Triple H doing what he does best. Pick his opponent apart. Going for it again. Whoa, a direct hit. Turn up by and Farouk nails it. And this has got to be it. Oh, my God, watch out. What a way to break the pin to keep this match going. Man, that was close. That was a different kind of counterattack. Great counter. And here's the Milan miracle. You can call Santino unconventional if you like, but there's no way you can say he doesn't make things happen in there. Using what we're seeing now as an example. There's a big shot to Santino. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. Not today, too fast. 
What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? Ow. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. The arm drag being used to good effect here. Arm drag, one of my all-time... A oh, quick pin. Can he do it? Man, the count's broken. My God, somehow he broke the referee's count. What a battle. Oh, man. Just when you think this is over, the war wages on. And there's so much at stake. This is amazing, Cole. Wow, what a slam to the ground. We now have to question if he'll be able to come back after that. That's what happens when you're in a powerful grasp. You go down. Oh, that slam was vicious. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you want for your last meal? I think I just saw a tooth go flying. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do. Incredible counter! That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Oh, man, look at the dominance of the Milan miracle here, Cole! Oh! Cover him, they're still alive! Yeah, Cole, you remember that song back in the day? Staying alive? Well, that was it in WWE terms. Looks to me like the gas tank is at about halfway. You want to make sure it doesn't get close enough to E, though. That's for sure. Hey, look at this. Santino Morella doing some good work here. Incredible. It's amazing what happens when a competitor channels all their ability in one move. You get high-octane offense like that. Hey, Cole, this could do it. I think so. Wow, there's the save. The match continues. Welcome to uh, two viewers. If you don't mind, hit that follow button. Remember, this is a no disqualification match. Anything goes. <laughs> I used to say, anything goes from the nose to the toes. I love no disqualification match. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Not giving Triple H a chance for any recovery here. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. We're looking at complete domination here. Uh-oh, the military press slam. Man, that looked painful, didn't it, Cole? The count's broken. My God, somehow he broke the referee's count. What a battle. Oh, man, just when you think this is over, the war wages on. And there's so much at stake. This is amazing, Cole. Hang on. That's it. He's out. What a finishing maneuver. This could look at And the referee's count is broken. Talk about just in the nick of time. Oh, man. I'll tell you, I really thought that was going to be all she wrote. He's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. He might not even know where he is after that attack to the back of his head. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King, but I still don't see him giving up. And here's the Milan miracle. You can call Santino unconventional if you like, but there's no way you can say he doesn't make things happen in there. Using what we're seeing now as an example.